she swabs my hands, my hands came back and there was an alarm that went off. They pulled me to the side, they made my kids go to a different spot. Hello, good morning everybody. Hello oh, everyone. Mom's got that Dr. Pepper shirt on. You know what, a day of traveling by myself with the kids, I need some Dr. Pepper. Guys, you got that right. Today mom is gonna be taking the kids home by herself. I'm staying behind for one more day for this epic GoPro event that I've been invited out to. Super stoked about that. We are packing things up, the hotel room's getting packed up, we're getting things cleaned up, ready to rock. Before we head to the airport, I think we're gonna have to grab a little bit of breakfast. When we went to lunch yesterday, I saw this bagel that had cinnamon sugar crusted all over like, it. Like, all over it. So one of our favorite things that we've done so far while we're here is hit the Panera right on the corner of this parking lot. We don't have a Panera by our house and so for some reason it's very exciting to us but it's at the corner of the parking lot of this hotel. So take a nice little walk over there. We've had two lunches over there and now a breakfast. So we're gonna go over there, so get good. these cinnamon crunch bagels and get this day started. Let's do it. Hey Z, can I see your eye this morning? Ooh, looking a little bit better, huh? After a delicious breakfast, it's time for the short walk back to the hotel before the long flight home. Just kidding, it's a short flight also. We're gonna pack up the kids, throw them in an Uber. We're just talking about it at breakfast, crew and I, that it seems strange. I used to travel a lot. If you guys are pretty new here, you might not know, before we went to do YouTube full time, I had a job that traveled quite a bit, three weeks out of every month, usually. I was always gone, always traveling, always flying, always in different hotels and airports, always by myself, well with coworkers, but not with my family. Now, we travel a lot still, but we do it together as a family. So it seems really strange that they're gonna go home and I'm gonna be traveling and flying by myself when I used to do that so often and it felt strange to be without the family. Little role reversal there. Have loved this traveling life with the family. Going on these trips all together. Creating memories. Just having a great time together. Are you going to stay here by yourself for real? I am. Just for one more day. Just one more night and then I'm on your same flight tomorrow. So the same time, same flight number, everything. But I'm going one day later. Okay. Okay. Alright guys. Alright guys. <laughs> Alright we're getting ready to leave. Getting ready to leave. We're we're gonna head to the airport. Gonna head to the airport right now. now. We're gonna leave <laughs> okay. Dad. Taking off and leaving me. Hold on. Okay, they're leaving. Mom's switching over to this vlog camera. I will shut up. Signing off over here. We have gotten everything packed up. Backpacks, fanny packs. I'm completely ready to travel. I have actually never traveled with the kids alone by myself. I've actually never flown alone, let alone with the kids by myself. So the good news is our kids are old enough that they're actually pretty helpful. Should be easy breezy. Brandon is, however, going to order me up an Uber. Get us to the airport. He would drop us off, but he has to head to his event as well. He is heading off to his event though in Flip flops, shorts, and the whole get up. And we are under. heading in shoes, yeah, pants, under. sweaters. It's freezing at home. We have everyone texting us telling us it is gonna be awful when we get there. We're gonna head home. Okay, Dad, we love you. Okay, love you guys. Have a great trip. Okay. I'll see you literally tomorrow afternoon, okay? I love you. Love you. Okay, bye guys. See you. Okay, love you, bye. Bye. You. you okay? Just miss Daddy. It's okay. Rexy misses daddy too, huh? Huh? We have sad kids in the car. This is kind of lame. Ryler's been a little nervous for the flight, and Brexton had his back towards me and he realized he's sad. He misses Brandon. And then Hazy, every time we turn around, she looked like she was gonna cry. She misses Brandon, so Cruz got his arm around her. I have sad kids. Now I'm sad because they're sad. It's gonna be an interesting flight, though. Family's off and I'm here in a room with two beds and a bunk bed by myself, holding it together here. How sad and pathetic, I guess, am I? The family's going, they're gonna be gone for no more than 24 hours, but we have just created such strong family bonds as we've done this YouTube journey together and done all these fun travels together that it's actually really hard. It's so dumb. I'm gonna see them tomorrow. It's really hard to send them off to be by myself here at the hotel room and to have them going off and flying home alone, but wipe the tears away. <laughs> Literally, it's one day. Don't know how I ever did this long term. Don't know how I did this for weeks on end without being by the family because now I'm just so used to it. I'm so accustomed to being with them by my side, hanging on my pant leg, stepping on my feet. To have this big open space to myself feels really weird and kind of uncomfortable. So excited to be back with them as soon as possible. But the reason we are here, the reason we even turned this into a Disneyland trip is because GoPro invited me out to come to like a GoPro training session. Then they're having like a panel discussion at the YouTube space in LA where they're talking about using GoPro cameras in YouTube videos. And GoPro, as you guys know, is what inspired and sparked the creativity, ignited the passion inside of us to even create and to post videos of ourselves and what we're doing online. And it really to this day, still stokes the fire that is that creative passion that we have in creating content and sharing with you guys. So very, very excited about this. A little bit nervous for some reason. I just don't know, even know a lot about it or what I'm getting into, but I'm gonna jump in the car right now, heading to Venice Beach. There's a hotel right there on the Venice Beach. We're starting things off in the Red Bull suite for some training. We're gonna go outside, get some hands-on training, and then tonight is the panel discussion event. Whatever I can video, I will. And I'll bring that to you guys. And then of course, we'll be checking in with mom along the way to see how the flight home is going. Gosh, I love my family, you guys. I love them so much that I miss them when they're gone for 10 minutes. What are you gonna do? Part of me just goes, what's wrong with 
with our family? Why are we all crying? We've been together for so long and now all of a sudden we're just like sad to be apart. That's okay, we miss dad, huh? We just love being together and that's what's so awesome about our job is we get to just be together all day every day. So when we're apart, it's really rare and we're not used to it. It's a challenge and it's only like a day, a day and a half maybe. We just barely got to the airport. A few more tears than normal. I don't know how much you could hear when we were in the car because the music was so loud. But I think our Uber driver could sense how sad the kids were. So he was playing all of these really fun songs. Baby Shark, Old Town Road. He was super awesome. I think that we've all dried our tears a little bit and we're ready to head out and go home to Salt Lake. This airport is teeny tiny. This is it. This is probably the easiest airport I could have flown out alone. This is awesome. Do you need help? <laughs> That's okay, it's heavy. Probably almost 50 pounds. Ooh, mom knows how to pack it. Right guy, you got it? Oh, right guy. He's got it. 46. Both of them 46. Awesome. If there was ever an airport to fly out of, I would say it's Long Beach because it's super small. how much you could hear us in the car, like I said, because it was really loud. We drive away. Guys, I can't even tell you. I've been super nervous to fly by myself. I didn't even realize that Brexton was sad in the car. I thought he was just looking out the window. It turns out he's crying. Looking out the window, he just misses dad. And then every time I turned around to Hazy, she would kind of like, she's sad, is she not sad? I don't know if I should feed into it. Finally just looked at her long enough. <laughs> and she just cried. <laughs> Do you miss dad? <laughs> Should we call him? Should we, we can FaceTime him too. We can call him. You don't need to be sad. He's coming home tomorrow. You guys, it makes me sad because I get sad whenever my kids are sad. I don't even know why I'm sad, but basically, we just missed dad. Crew's being a total stud, huh? You're being a total boss. All right, guys, having a tough time. It's okay. Mommy's here with you, right? We get to go home and wear our Halloween costumes. Just got here to the event. It is literally at the Red Bull Suite at the Irwin Hotel overlooking Venice Beach. There's a little nook cut out up in this suite that looks out over the beach. You got Muscle Beach, you got skate parks, you got everything rad and epic. That is everything GoPro. And it's going down right here, right now. We're gonna be getting some training from these guys. We're gonna take some cameras out on the beach, get some real world testing so we can up the creativity and content game in our YouTube videos. Coming at ya. Hopefully this makes us better creators and better users of the GoPro camera, our favorite camera to use. And whenever we're capturing that action, Meanwhile, just the right leg back just a little bit. There we go, perfect. Now switch the legs. After I filmed that whole portion about how just a lot of emotions going into today. I don't even know why, can't even explain it. We go through security and one of the kids got flagged, but they don't screen kids. They don't do that kind of security testing on children. They do it to the parent. Well, I'm the only one here. You don't need to be sad. <laughs> okay, so while I'm dealing with this, my emotions are just like kind of on the edge. She goes, because we don't screen children, we'll screen the parent. She swabs my hands, my hands came back, and there was an alarm that went off. So they said, okay, they pulled me to the side, they made my kids go to a different spot. I burst into tears. You guys, she's like, ma'am, are you okay? I was like, no. I was like, we just have so many emotions going on. I have one kid that's afraid to fly. The other two are crying because they missed their dad. I was like, honestly, it's just kind of hitting me. I'm totally fine. And I'm just standing there sobbing. So then all my kids start crying again. Mom of the year. They explained to me that sometimes it's just something is on your hands from like cleaners or normal day-to-day -day stuff that we use But they have to do the full pat down. She had me stand in different positions She touched every part of my body and I says I I'm totally fine She's like do you want me to explain it to your kids and I says, you know I'll be happy to basically I explained to the kids that TSA is made to keep us safe So if there's something that they feel like they need to check on my clothes or anything let them do their job The kids That's funny because she made her do the airplane ride I know I had to put my arms out wide like this like I was on an airplane ride So I'm so thankful to that amazing TSA lady who made the experience a hundred times better than it could have been I, I apologize for my emotions. I am all over the place right now But I'm just trying to deal with all of my kids emotions at the same time as my own and clearly I just failed miserably So we're taking in a lot. Okay, we got ourselves some lunch and I think that's maybe helping a little bit The kids would like to take a treat on the plane. We are gonna do that now We're gonna pick out something. Oh dad loves those in honor of dad. We will buy these. Yes I will buy these for you Brandon and I will yeah. eat them all in your name. Casey, what did you decide? <gasps> 
Skittles, I know. That's the first time I've seen you smile since we got here. Show me your Skittles. Lots of good things here. Hazy chose this cute little water. You excited? All right, boys, what do you want? Oh, you know exactly what you want. Gum? Rexy, what are you gonna choose? I don't know. Okay, they have lots of little snacks. You guys wanna carry your stuff? Okay, good job. Thank you. GoPro has outfitted us with a bunch of GoPro cameras. I brought my own, not to worry. They're sending us out on the streets of Venice Beach to see what we can capture. to our plane. The fun part of flying out of Long Beach is you get to go right out on the jetway and walk straight up onto your plane. We just barely got on the plane. Don't feel like this could go any worse, and I'm not even joking. Daisy is just crying. She says she doesn't feel well. I got a few of these. I don't know when I got them. Anyways, I brought them just in case. I'm like, I cannot have a kid to roll up on the plane. I'm gonna cuddle her, hope that she does okay. I've got Rye Guy next to me. We're gonna just calm some nerves. These two boys over here. Good over there? Yeah, they're being awesome. Thank you. Just wrapped up part one of the GoPro event. Back to my big empty car. And just to put a bow on the whole overly dramatic goodbye today. Family is safe at home. I heard there's snow there. Incredible. It's a sunny, gorgeous sunset here at Venice Beach. I'm headed off to YouTube Space LA for the second part of today's GoPro event. But I just wanted to say, you know, I know we're only away from each other for a moment. But really, it has always been my life's top priority to get as much time together with my family as I can while still providing a lifestyle for them. That's a quote of mine, I guess. If you go back and watch the video where we officially announced that we were leaving the traditional workforce and just going full-time on YouTube and some of the reasoning behind that some of the mentality that goes into making a decision like that and there were times back when I was looking for jobs and I would apply at different jobs and a lot of times people break down the pros and cons of different jobs by you know salary or ability to move up mobility inside of a company I would literally make spreadsheets and detail out how much time each job would give me with my family and then regardless of title position income salary level whatever I would always choose the one that allowed me to have more time with my family this job being full-time YouTube is obviously the culmination of every dream imaginable where I get full time with my family while still providing an income and that is all because of you guys and because of your loyal following and watching tuning in every day to see what we're up to that explains a little bit of the emotion behind it because truly we have been living the dream by being together while still being able to provide an amazing life for our kids for our family so then when we split up like that it has that feeling of going back to being away from each other as much as I was before I think we all got a little bit emotional there everyone's home we're all feeling great I'll be back with them tomorrow and now it's off to finish this amazing GoPro event it's been incredible you guys I'm carrying a lot right now. Kind of hard to vlog, but we just got off the plane. It was an excellent plane ride. Was a bit scared there for a second, but then once I got on my Kindle and just chilled and distracted uh, yourself a little. Yeah, distracted myself so much. Hazy is out. She fell asleep the whole ride. Hazy is not feeling well, so we're gonna go home and give her some medicine and hope that she feels better. I'm gonna have to have a babysitter take care of them tonight while I take Ryler to his game. Hopefully tonight can go smoothly. We're happy to be home. It is a chilly 28 degrees here. Welcome back to Utah.
girly got dropped off by it's the bus snowing. to get to our cars or taking our suitcases but you guys it is snowing on us i don't know no, if you can we see this gonna be torture. this is not even Woo! Hi, Lazzy. We missed you. We missed you. Hi, Kenny. It feels so good to be home. Holy cow, I forgot how clean I left our house. I like when we leave when our house is clean. We picked up some food on the way home. The kids wanted chicken nuggets, so I stopped at Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna feed them. We're gonna get ready for bed, and I'm gonna get these kids to bed. Ryler had a football game, but because of freezing temperatures, it was canceled, which kind of works out because I think we're all tired. I don't think Hazy's feeling 100%. I get to be with her tonight. We're gonna get these kids fed and ready for bed. Kids are all bathed. I feel like just in the last hour, Hazy's eye has turned a little bit more blue. I don't know where that came from. It looks worse in different lights too. Kids are just relaxing. We're so happy to be back with our Lazzy. We got the kids to bed. We ended up getting to bed pretty quickly. A little bit of an emotionally exhausting day. The day's done. Tomorrow's the opportunity for a new day. We have a lot of fun stuff going on tomorrow, so make sure you guys come back. It's gonna be really awesome. I love you so much. Thank you for all of the positive comments and everything on Instagram as I posted about our little experience today. You guys are amazing. I'm so, so grateful for you. And we'll you guys all tomorrow. To have you here, thank you to the YouTube space in LA giving us an opportunity to come and talk with all of you. And so I started this YouTube channel to show other people at USC. Just getting back to my empty hotel room after the GoPro event. It was a super incredibly rad event. It was so cool just to be invited, just to be a part of that, you guys. You know how much we love GoPro and everything that they've done for us and everything that they stand for. We just freaking love them. So it was crazy cool to be a part of that. Just downloading now the footage from Mom's End. Turns out she had a pretty eventful day at the airport today. I heard a little bit about it, but haven't been in much communication with them since I've been at the event and Mom's been at home taking care of the kids. Gonna get this stuff downloaded, get working on the vlog here in my empty hotel room, and then I'm super excited to reunite with the family tomorrow. We got a lot of fun coming tomorrow because we do have one of our first incredibly amazing, epic, and family-themed costume reveals for our neighborhood Halloween party going down tomorrow night. So make sure you don't miss that. Subscribe if you haven't. Smash that like button. We love you guys so much. You guys are our family, and we are so grateful to be a part of your lives every single day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.